so I'm making a video on five reasons why you should own real estate and not rent. But you used to be a used to be a renter. What made you decide to buy? That's great. Um, I think we were ready to buy because we were thinking, you know what, we're spending all this money on rent. We might as well be putting it towards our own home and own something um, so that we can start building equity. I think we're happy with the timing because as soon as we got in, we noticed the um, housing market just kept climbing. And I think so far we've made already about 200 grand on that house. Would so you, I'm happy with it. Would you do anything different no. with that purchase? I think with that purchase, no. But I wish we could have got um, in the market sooner. Yeah. Um, okay. Perfect. So in this video, I want to share with you my top five reasons for why you should be owning real estate. Maybe I'm biased because of my job as a full-time realtor, but it just seems so obvious that owning is the way to go. And the sooner you do it, the better off you are. I totally get that maybe you live in an expensive city. Maybe you have a lot of student debt. Maybe you're having a hard time saving up 20% down payment. But if you've given up entirely on owning because it's hard, that would be a huge mistake. These are my reasons why. Number one, your rent is going up every year with inflation, but your mortgage is coming down every year because you're paying it off. So at the end of your 25 year mortgage, you'll have zero mortgage left, assuming you've made all your payments. Your cost of living at that point, because you own 100% of the home, is going to be only a few hundred dollars because it's the cost of property tax, some utilities, some random maintenance here and there, and some home insurance. That's very affordable. Let's compare this to renting over the same 25 year period. Let's assume that you're currently renting for $2,300 a month. And assume again that rent has increased 2% every year. After 25 years, you'll be paying $3,773 a month in rent. I can't even imagine what retiring would be like if you had $3,700 every month in rent payments. Okay, reason number two. In the first reason, we, we assumed that you were gonna rent one spot for 25 years. In reality, that won't, that won't happen. Most rental properties are individually owned by investors and investors don't hold their properties for 25 years. For single family homes, most investors own for five to 10 years before they sell it off. At which point you're gonna get a letter in the mail or an email saying, hey, please leave, I'm selling. So the second reason is for the stability of your family. Imagine for a second you've been living in the same home for five years and you have a kid who goes to the local school. If you're being asked to leave because the landlord is selling, you typically have about 60 days to relocate. And if you're trying to keep your kid in the same school and be in the same school district, your choices are going to be very, very limited. You're realistically looking at either a very long commute to the same school or relocating schools altogether. And what is market rent going to be at that point when you have to relocate again? I guarantee you it won't be whatever you were paying. So that's the second most important reason why I believe you should own the stability of your family. Okay. My third reason for why you should invest in real estate is because I just believe it's a good investment. You don't have to be a genius to invest in the real estate market. And there are so many tax advantages that go with it. I'll make a separate video on the tax advantages. Of course, past performance in real estate isn't an indicator of future performance, but look at the charts over the medium to long term, real estate has always been a winner. It takes money to make money as the saying goes, but once you're on that property ladder, it'll be worth it. I'll make a separate video on a real investment with real numbers so you can see the math with me. Reason number four is because it's like a form of forced savings. Either you're saving money aggressively so you have a down payment or you've already purchased and every month you're making a payment towards your mortgage, which is a form of savings. So every mortgage is made up of interest, which you'll never see again, and principal, which is the part that's like a forced savings. So if you ever sell your home, you can get back your principal. So let's do a quick example. If you're making a mortgage payment of $1,000 a month, 500 of that is interest and 500 of that is principal, that means you've paid off your home mortgage by $500. You not own $500 more of that home. Compare that to a thousand dollar rental payment where a hundred percent of that is gone. You'll never see it again. Reason number five is because you're going to live in a nicer home. If you're renting a home right now, try asking your landlord 
to build that backyard deck for you and see what he or she says. But if you own that home, you would happily build that deck for yourself. You'll take better care of the property you live in because it's yours. You'll show more pride and ownership because it's yours. It's like a rental car. If you spill a drink in the back seat, who cares? It's not your car. But if that car was yours, you would clean it immediately. Same thing applies here for the home. And you're not at the mercy of the landlord when you have a repair. You're, you can just fix it on your own. Invest that money in your own property and fix it. Personally, I feel like these are very compelling reasons for why you should try to own real estate. Let's wrap this up with some quick math. Just to drill it into your head once more why you should own real estate. If you rent for $2,000 a month, that's $24,000 a year. Over five years, you've spent $120,000 on rent. Imagine what you could have done with that money. If you can move back in with your parents for a few years and save your money, you'll sacrifice for a few years, but you will be so thankful that you did it down the road. Anyways, if I've missed any other reasons for why you should own, let me know below. And as usual, thanks for watching.